Hi guys, my name is Ayanna. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. We are back today with another hair video. Today we are doing my relaxed day wash routine. This was highly requested after my gain and retain length video. If you have not seen that video, I recommend that you check it out, especially if you're relaxed and you're trying to grow your hair, get past the plateau. It is super, super beneficial. I'm going to link it up above now. I recommend watching that prior to watching this. This is one of the things that I mentioned in that video how I wash my hair for easy detangling and no breakage. So with that said, I'm going to get right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I start by detangling my hair, combing through it, make sure there's no tangles and snags. And then I braid my hair into four braids. I usually start about an inch or two from my scalp. So once I have these braids in place, I just secure it with an elastic band try to make the bands be skinnier because the thicker bands will um, slide off the ends. That happened to me, um, as you'll see a little later. But again, just four simple braids secured at the ends with an elastic cloth if you have is best. Now you will notice that I didn't pre-pool with an oil and that's simply because for days prior to my wash routine, you guys know if you watch my gain and retain length video, I start to saturate my hair with oils. Um, and so I don't really need to do that step, but I am using my Olaplex number three as a pre-shampoo treatment. You have to apply it to damp hair. So I sprayed it with a water bottle and then I just take it and I apply it over the braids, pretty much from root to tip is how it's recommended. And then once you have it applied to all four braids, you can then begin to shampoo and rinse out after waiting 20 minutes. So this again is left on for 20 minutes. Next, you want to fill up your nozzled bottle with the uh, shampoo of your choice. And then you want to add water and just apply the soapy water to your roots. You will see me go in and actually add the shampoo directly to um, my scalp. Just to get a little bit more sud action um, but I'm using a moisturizing shampoo so it doesn't lather that much anyway so I usually repeat this step about two times and then I will rinse this is usually done in the shower but for recording purposes I'm going to do it downstairs in my kitchen so now we are just setting the water and then we are rinsing. You do want to rinse with warm water. Sort of prep your hair for the deep conditioning we are going to do in just a moment. So as you can see, while I'm rinsing, my hair is still in these braids. I'm rinsing my scalp. I'm rinsing the braids as well, but I, they remain braided. Those braids do not come out until after conditioning is done. So my hair is still in braids. As I said, I repeated that step twice. Towel dry with a few just pats. And then after this, we will be applying our deep conditioning. So all the products I use, I am going to have um, linked below. This is a moisturizing conditioner from Shea Moisture. You guys know me, you know I love Shea Moisture. <laughs> so I'm just, again, simply applying this over the braids, each braid from root to tip. Apply it generously. If any of the elastics come out at this point, it's okay because once this deep conditioning is done, we will be taking them out anyway. So you don't have to reapply, just try to keep the braids intact as much as possible. So once I'm done, I take these braids, I fold them up, I apply a um, plastic shower cap, and then I use my hot head 
thermal cap to deep condition for 20 minutes. Now when you're using this, you apply it to the microwave for 45 seconds, then you flip and then repeat and you do that twice. So now after 20 minutes, we are ready to take these braids out, detangle and then rinse. Guys, I want you to pay attention to the ease with which I detangle. And then I show you the amount of hair that came out in that comb, okay? And you're gonna be amazed, it's literally a few strands that came out and detangling was a breeze now here I'm just unraveling the braids I'm going to grab my detangling brush guys if you are detangling with anything other than something of this nature um, please stop <laughs> this brush is so I don't want to say flimsy but it will not tear through your hair if you have snags and tangles. It will bend to your hair, which is what you want. You don't want something that's stronger than your hair that's gonna rip through your hair when you're detangled. Okay, guys, I don't know if you were watching this, but did you see the ease with which this hair was easily detangled? <laughs> I'm doing the other side. This literally took me five minutes. I'm gonna show you again on this side the process and then i'm going to show you the comb after i do the whole head and how much hair i've lost so once again we're just repeating the whole process we are detangling and if you're detangling and you feel a snag you want to start from the bottom as you can see in the back that's what i did it was a lot more um just difficult to get through in the back than the front on this side so i started from the bottom teased it up and then rinsed the um, deep conditioning out. So now you can see the braids are out, so I'm doing a much more thorough rinse. Again with warm water. Then now just a quick re-detangle and as you can see super easy guys look at this comb a few strands of hair look at the brush a few strands of hair i know people who lose balls of hair every time they wash their hair this method really makes a difference okay so i'm just applying a little leave in just to moisturize my hair. And then I am going in with my Holy Grail product. Guys, if you know me, you know I swear by this product. This product has saved my hair. This is my Unlay Spray. And this oil has a powerhouse of moisturizing ingredients. It has aloe vera. Um, it has coconut oil, which is one of the only oils that can actually penetrate the hair shaft. Um, and then it has um, sealant oils like argan oil as well. Just it's such a good moisturizing and um, just conditioning oil. And it absorbs into your scalp. You don't have any product residue. I just love this. <laughs> okay, this is not sponsored. This is not, I get zero dollars and zero cents for this. And I just share it because it has really made a difference when it comes to my hair growth when again detangle and as you can see it's pretty effortless <laughs> and then from here i simply just tie my hair down and then i let it uh, air dry i tie down the front so it's flat and then i wait a few hours before styling so this is it i just did a low manipulation bun Again, it only took about five hours of drying time. And I'm going to keep it like this for about a week. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this. Give me a like if you did and see you next video.